So let's check out some examples of X axis, Y axis and legends in display. So assuming I want to display our sales by region one more time using a bar chart and I'm going with this stacked bar chart. So if I pick the stacked bar chart, increase the size a little bit and then I'm going to put in region and sales. So every time you have a visual on your reporting canvas and you would like to focus more on the visual, you want to kind of like zoom in on the visual, you will always see some icons either at the top or at the bottom of the visual, right? It depends on where you have space left, right? So right now, this my bar chart currently has those uh, headers at the bottom of the visual and you will see the one in the middle is called focus mode. So if I click on the focus mode, you know, we can all see this clearer. So what I want to do next now is to break down within each region. I want to see the sales that is coming from different customer segments. So when I look at my Western region, for example, I would like to have an indication as to how much sales is coming from consumers, how much is coming from retail and how much is coming from uh, home office or corporate as the case may be. So for me to be able to display that further segmentation of each of my regions by another data category i'm going to have to put that data category into my legends bucket so i'll go to my field section now and i'll go to look for a uh, segment it is that i want to use now customer segment then i'm just going to drag segment and i'm going to place it inside the legends bucket then you can see that for each of my regions, I have broken it down into different customer segments. And the legends here is going to display which segment is which. And this is what it looks like when I'm using a bar chart that is stacked, right? Because if I was going to use a bar chart that is clustered, I'm just going to change the visual to clustered bar charts. And you will see that instead of stacking the bars, instead of having all the segments on a single bar that's what makes it stacked when i want to cluster it i will simply just have you know three different bars for each of my regions and this is what makes it clustered and of course the behavior is going to be exactly the same thing if i decide to use column charts so for stacked column charts this is what it's going to look like all the segments are stacked on the same bar for each of my regions but if I decide to cluster it with a clustered column chart for each region, I will have three different bars for the three different segments.